Hello, hello, my loves. We're in my bedroom. My husband's not home. He is <clears throat> doing stuff at work. So I thought, let's come into the bedroom. Let's have a look at my bookshelf. This is where I keep most of my books that I read. Leisure reading. Most of my favorite spiritual books are here. It's just kind of like a whole collection. Um, but I really want to unhaul books that I don't need. So I want to get rid of stuff that I don't want to read anymore, that I haven't read, that I'm not interested in. Interested in. <laughs> and then I also want to unhaul books that are just not interesting to me anymore or books I've read that I've saved, but I just don't need. So we're going to go into this one thing at a time. I have a little bit of a pile right there um, of books that I've already unhauled throughout the last couple weeks. I usually try to get like a little stack going and then I take it off to the thrift store. <clears throat> so, and please excuse if I'm coughing or clearing my throat. I woke up with allergies and it's just been a thing. So let's get into this. Let's see what comes up. Let's see what I decide I wanna get rid of and make space for new books. <laughs> I have a whole pile by my bed that's just getting larger and larger and I just like need to find space. I purposely have the smallest of bookshelf <laughs> so that I don't go crazy because I did go crazy at one point. That's what we're gonna do right now. I guess we'll start with the books on the top shelf. I usually kind of have a theme. So the books on the top shelf were more like autobiography, biographies and adult fiction. So let's just kind of see. Some of these are so dusty. Okay, I decided to I decided to take an allergy pill just in case because these books get dusty. <laughs> okay. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I have not read it. Definitely know this is not going to stay. Um, so <clears throat> a couple of these books that I haven't read, I'm going to give them a chance. That one's going to stay. Oh my gosh, these are like so packed in here, you guys. So crazy. Oh, eat, whoa. Eat, pray, love. I only got that far. My little full bookmark. I only got that far. I never finished it. I, I'm surprised that this came off. My husband punched a hole in it and put it into the wall. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to have him do that again. Okay. I think this. Lisa Scottaline, my mom likes her. I gave her a chance and I just did not. I was not into her. So those are gonna go. Oh my gosh, this book I've had. She <laughs> I've had that since I was like a teenager. I have to keep it. Um, I definitely want to keep this. Definitely want to keep, keep, keep. Uh, I have a thing for the royal family. I might keep this one because I'm probably going to regret it and I'll want to read it later. But there is another one over here. The Diana one. Definitely keeping that. I bought this one thinking it was legit, but it's actually more of like someone's point of view, someone's opinion, and I don't really... I don't really like those. Like I want to read something that's legit. Um, these other ones are <clears throat> poetry, which is going to stay. So here's this next shelf. <laughs> this is my spiritual books. I would, I would keep this one because the cover is beautiful, but honestly, this book is outdated. It's from before 2012. <laughs> so that's going to go. <laughs> um, let's see. Sacred space is going to stay. Heaven's Door will stay, Love Language, Between Love and Death, Journey of Souls, Last Breath, those are all going to stay. Mostly my spiritual books, they're all going to stay. And that's just because I love them so much. The Light Between Us, this one can go. I love those. Greta. <laughs> A lot of these I have not read yet. 
those are gonna stay. I'm telling you guys, I love my spiritual books so much. Th those are like very rarely I will get rid of those. Well, I should try to get rid of more actually, like Super Attractor. I love Gabrielle Bernstein, but I sh I'm not gonna read her. I'm not gonna read this. I need to just be honest with myself. <laughs> always just go with your gut I've read that one too I don't need to hold on to it I love my mediumship books like those the mediumship books I have a hard time parting with and that's pretty much what all this is is, is mediumship you can see how dusty Ugh, it's so dusty <laughs> okay let's do some more so these are listed literally this is all my mermaid books all my mermaid books so the Fisherman and Merman. These are gonna go. What else, what else, what else? All of these other ones I'm gonna keep. I'm so bad, I love, mermaid books are like my absolute favorite. <laughs> they are my, my guilty pleasure. So uh, that pretty much that was it for that. My horror books though, I do actually have quite a bit. So definitely um, Books of Blood. I just don't think I'll ever get into this. That's going to go. Dracul is going to go. I hear that this one's really good. Let the right one in. I just haven't gotten to it. You are not alone. That one sounds like it's a thriller. That one's gonna stay. Ugh. Perfect place to die. <laughs> hmm. It sounds good. Okay, I don't wanna keep all of these. I'm gonna get rid of. Crescent City. I know Sarah Mass, like I know this book is supposedly really, really good, but I heard the book too was boring. So I'm like, I'm not gonna get to it. Let's just be honest. Stephen King will stay. I know I got rid of quite a bit before. This one's gonna go. This series was actually kind of delicious. Maybe I'll hold on to it. Maybe I'll, I'll fill it. I want to finish it, but. Wow, I thought I was gonna get rid of a lot more books. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> but see, that's, that's my problem. Like, and that's actually quite a bit of books. Like that's a nice little stack, but I was kind of hoping to get rid of more. But this is my problem. Like I get so focused on what I want to still read and like it's so hard Ugh. it's so hard to get rid of books you guys Ooh, these need to be dusted off for sure I don't see anything else that I want to get rid of I'm gonna have to take my time and read the little the little flaps just to kind of see if anything just doesn't sound good to me <laughs> I think it's just so funny well, I have some space, I guess. Once I kind of like rearrange it, it won't look so bad. We'll have to work with this. We'll work with this and see what happens. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here going through like reading. I'm taking my time reading some of the, the, you know, the back flaps. So I decided to unhaul um, a couple more horror books. I'm gonna unhaul this series. It started with Crave, I believe, and then Crush. It's one of those like vampire, kind of want to be twilight books i'm just kind of like you know what they take up space they're super chunky the first one i read was pretty good but it's also it, i remember it feeling juvenile kind of like you know twilight is kind of juvenile as well um but <laughs> i was like mm, i don't really need another twilight series i have one already and i love twilight so that's gonna go I'm not sure if I want to keep V.C. Andrews, Flowers in the Attic. Um, this book has always been one of those, like, I want to read it, I want to read it. 
and then I put it away and I'll start it and then I end it and I'm just like, but I love the cover. Like I'm a sucker for really pretty covers on books. So I think simply because the cover is really pretty and I know that every once in a while I crave just to read the series, the, the V.C. Andrews books, I'm going to keep it. This is like my thing with like teenage, <clears throat> teenage vampire books and teenage werewolves and all that stuff. This is another one, The Dark Visions. I think it's like three or two or three books in one. I don't know. I'm not sure. This one was one that I found in the book drop at the donation bin. I've always kept it because every once in a while I get that craving for just like a vampire <clears throat> love story. <laughs> Here's The Midnight Sun. I haven't even read it. I've only gotten like just like sl a sliver into it. But it's there because I have the whole series. I even forgot that I had this book because it's always been at the bottom of this whole stack. Um, so hmm. actually that one sounds really good. So let me hold on to that. Going through these books, it's kind of like, wow, I forget what I have because I'm so, I was just so oversaturated with those teeny vampires. <laughs> the, other, the other one, Life and Death, the other Twilight. Um, I'm just obsessed. I have the whole Twilight series, the beautiful, this is another one of those vampire romances. Stephen King books have to stay. I love witch books, werewolves. I have um a couple sci-fi books. These are like, this one actually could probably go. I have a couple sci-fi books that I really want to get into. I have Semiosis. I also have Parasite. These all sound so good. Stories from the border of hell. Oh, they're like short stories. No, I'll hold on to it. Southern Book Club Guide to Slaying Vampires. I've always heard that this was really, really good. And to be honest, I've never been interested in reading it. I bought it because it was like one of those hyped up books and I just never picked it up. I think I ended up reading by the same author. I read, ended up reading, um, it was the final, was it, no, was it Final Girls or Final... I don't know. It was about <clears throat> the um, survivors of like slasher, slasher films and slasher situations, um, which was actually really good. But this one, I don't know. I'm kind of like, I feel like this is one of those books where like, if I get rid of it, I'll end up buying it again because it's going to get overhyped another fall season and I'm going to want to read it. So I think it's just the cover is throwing me off. Like, it just doesn't look interesting. <laughs> but we're going to hold on to it. The Silent Girls. This one is definitely going to stay. This series, I was so kind of disappointed. Um, I was the girl from the well. I'm, I, I feel like I need to still give it some time. Because I attempted to read it. And it kind of just like... I wasn't into it. It didn't draw me in right away, but I feel like this one has potentials. So I love witch books. I have this one. I also have The Hour of the Witch. Um, it's kind of like the same thing, like when I crave a teeny, like a teen romance, vampire romance, or I don't know, like when I crave a cheesy vampire read, every once in a while, I will also crave a witch book. So <laughs> I have that, this one. Um, so Darcy Coates writes really good creepy books and I read one of hers. It was like a typical ghost, kind of like a ghosty haunted house story. I, I don't have it because I passed it on to a friend. Um, this one, I heard good things about this one. Like I heard that this one was actually really creepy and it's a, it's a, it's like a short book. So I kind of figured one of these days I'll pick it up. Darcy Coates does write really well. She writes very simple. It's like, when I read horror, I don't want to have to like think, I know this sounds horrible, but I don't want to have to think too much when I'm reading horror. I just want to get into the books, which is also kind of why I don't fully get into Stephen King. Um, but I did read Stephen King's Salem's Lot and I liked it. It took me a while to kind of get through. He's very descriptive and like very detailed. So it did take me a while to get through it, but it is actually a really creepy book. 
Um, so I, I had plans to reread Salem's Lot this, this fall and it just didn't happen. Um, but I did purchase a more vintage copy of the book because I love, I love vintage horror paperbacks. So I have the Pet Cemetery. I like vintage horror. I also have Audrey Rose. Um, I was like, I got almost halfway and then I kind of just lost interest. Um, but I keep them because I love the covers. So that's kind of like a guilty pleasure of mine. I will keep a book because the cover is pretty. <laughs> I have the Halloween series, found them on eBay, paid a pretty good penny for this one. Um, but again, it's paperback, vintage paperback that I freaking love. So yeah, <clears throat> so that's gonna stay. I like, I, I didn't even get that far in it. I think it was like that much, um, but it's creepy. Like there's parts that were just super creepy. Um, and one of these days I'm gonna be one of those people that's going to finish it. So I do keep it. And I just like the cover too on it. It's really, it is creepy. Paul, I have to go through these freaking mermaid books because I know that there's like this one. Actually, maybe I'll unhaul this one. Um, I collect, so I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I collect mermaid books. Like I love mermaid fiction. I love young adult mermaid fiction, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but I collect them, especially if they have a pretty cover. The cover on this one is kind of like, meh, it's not that big a deal. I rem I tried reading it this summer. I did not like it. So that one can go. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just obsessed. This one, I don't really care for the cover. I might actually get rid of this one. The Sea Witch. This one was kind of a disappointment. It was so boring. I was just like, can we just get on with it? It's It was boring. So I'm definitely getting rid of that one. Yeah. Every summer, I'm telling you guys, every summer I have to buy a mermaid book. It's just like a thing. <laughs> I am so obsessed. Some of these mermaid books are so old. They come from libraries. Like this one's from a library. Um, <laughs> I find them on like those... Um, secondhand, you know, book thrift books or whatever. And I order them. Here's another one that used to be a library book. So <laughs> there's just something about mermaid books. I feel like I have to keep them all, you know, or I'll regret get, getting rid of them. So it's a guilty pleasure, but there are a couple that I could part with. So I did. Um, the spiritual books, those are just going to stay. Yeah. I guess I can kind of condense some of these shelves now that I have some space and make space for like more books in the future. Um, but I guess that's what I'll do is I'll just work on organizing. I got a dust, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to go through it. I love books, you guys. Like part of my thing that I like to do when I'm not reading tarot cards for people or, you know, I like to read. I just, I love to read. I always have a book in my purse. I'm always reading something. Sometimes I'm reading like, two or three books at the same time. Usually it's like a nonfiction and a fiction, um, but I love to read. It's just always been how I, that's just always been a thing of me since I was a little girl. So anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for coming with me. I know this is kind of like a little different video than what I usually put out. I just thought it would be fun to kind of document this whole process. Unfortunately, I thought I was going to have a little bit more better than nothing and we still have and we have this pile too so I did I did get rid of quite a bit but um <laughs> it just doesn't look like it on the shelf so anyways my loves I will see you guys in my next video thank you guys for tuning in and I will talk to you soon bye guys